All right. OK, that's really loud. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Grace Ellis, and I'm a senior at Waverly High School. And you are saying. And this is draft one. Dear Dad, how was your week? Is work going well? Carly and I miss you a lot. We'll see you next weekend. Draft seven, dear dad, it's been a while since the last time I talked to you and I know you've been busy. Mom told me she'd rethink the divorce if you went to rehab. Draft 12, dear dad, I thought I saw your truck in the store parking lot today. Why don't you call me? Did I do something wrong? Draft 19, dear dad, I decided not to go to family Christmas this year because I think it's better if I just don't see you at all. I just can't handle the stress right now, I'm sorry. Draft, I've lost count. Dear dad, it's been over a year since the last time I talked to you and well, I've decided to stop calling you dad, so. Dear Clark, you know, I don't know how many times I've tried to write to you. How many times I've put pen to paper and come up with five full tear-stained pages that feel like absolutely nothing. Sooner or later, each attempt failed. Drafts one through 13, I burned or shredded or tossed. 14 on, I erased or deleted or forgot about. Draft 49 lies lost in a landfill somewhere in a stamped and addressed envelope that I never had the guts to send. Draft 96 found itself on my desk for two weeks too many before being swallowed by the mess of homework and abandoned papers. Draft 108 sat in my coat pocket as I passed a stranger on the street, their bent over stock type walk reminding me so much of you that I held my breath wondering if maybe you've just changed so much I could no longer recognize you. I always thought that anything I couldn't say, I could write. That all the words that found themselves lost in the back of my throat would somehow always find their way to my fingertips. But with you, everything I would write never felt good enough. And trust me when I say I've tried using every metaphor in my arsenal, every beautiful word I can think of to describe you, but nothing makes I don't want to see you anymore sound nice. Maybe that's my issue. Maybe saying something like this isn't nice or easy. I can't dress it up with annoying alliterations and meaningless metaphors. I can't disguise this as a dad. I love you because this is not a dad. I love you. This is the awful, repulsive, stomach-twisting truth. This is the ugly side of life that no one ever wants to talk about. This is me saying I'm done, saying you chose drugs over me, and now I'm choosing happiness over you, so here it is. The final draft, simple, open, and ugly. Goodbye.